What if there was an affordable VR headset better than the Oculus Quest 2 at around the same price? We'll be going over the actual proper competition to Meta and the Oculus Quest 2, version 44 update, Bone Labs new gameplay, and much more. Meta has been dominating the VR headset market for some time now with over two-thirds of VR users playing on a headset from Meta. It's partly because a lot of people including me didn't want to spend thousand plus dollars trying this VR thing for the first time. Oculus Quest 2 was the perfect solution for most people with being able to play standalone and even PC VR games if you wanted to. The other reason was that there wasn't proper competition in the market to directly compete with the Quest 2. PSVR was only available to PS4 owners and focused on just VR gaming. The Valve Index is definitely popular within the VR community, but it's not a direct competition due to the massive price difference. On Thursday, September 22nd, there will be an announcement event focused on the Pico Neo 4 and Pico Neo 4 Pro. From leaks, we know that Pico Neo 4 headsets will have a bigger battery than the Quest 2, a better display with 2160 by 2160 just a shy of double the pixel per inch, a little wider field of view, pancake lenses to make the headset slimmer, full color pass-through, and face and eye tracking features for the Pro model, directly going after the Quest Pro which also has the same features. What if the headset is cheaper than the Quest 2 and if the Pro model was cheaper than the upcoming Quest Pro? Would you be willing to try it? Or are you too integrated into the meta ecosystem that you rather stick with them? After all, the Pico headsets are made by a Chinese company behind TikTok and some people just simply rather go with a well-known company like Meta and there's no issues with that. Regardless of whether you're getting the Quest Pro, Pico Neo 4, Pico Neo 4 Pro, or any other VR headset, having competition will benefit the entire VR community, especially for us, the players. With each headset trying to outdo the other headsets, we'll have better headsets with more features and be able to choose the headset that's right for you. We'll find out a whole lot more after the announcement event and if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description below. The version 44 Quest 2 update is just so helpful for those recording any kind of footage on your headset. At first, it seems like it's only helpful for the VR content creators, but it helps anyone that records small clips to watch later or send to your family and friends. The update includes image stabilization, which helps the video be more stable for clear gameplay for others to watch. You'll also be able to natively record gameplay in landscape mode, change the frame rate, and change video compression quality, which was only available through SideQuest and Oculus Developer Hub before. Is there a greater impact? Of course there is. As it's easier and better to record on your headset, there should be more people that post their gameplay on social platforms like YouTube or TikTok, which influences people that don't have a VR headset to get into VR for a larger and hopefully a better community. Other new features of the update include new supervision tools and app lock version 2, but that's not a big change so let's talk about the new Bone Lab gameplay we got to see. I just think this is so cool. The tweet says, no cheats, just simulation, and you have what it looks like a pretty legit go-kart system inside Bone Lab. If you look at the first part of the video, you see to the left that there is a avatar customization booth or a place and you see the player himself wearing the nobody skin and honestly from the rest of the video, you know that this game will be a such well polished game. The next video Brandon from Stress Level Zero posted should get you very excited. The tweet says that the game studio is working on the Bone Lab launch trailer. What does that mean? I think you know. I know nothing about game development, but if a studio is working on a launch trailer, it tells me that it can't be too far away from launch. The game does give off a Halloween type of vibe to the game, which is why I'm leaning towards an October release. And that's not that far away. As I stated in this previous video, if Bone Lab doesn't release in October, I'll pick one person from the comments to gift them the game when it does come out. I plan on making a video on everything we know about Bone Lab up to this point, so if you're interested, smash the subscribe button to be notified. Not all VR updates are positive ones. 
Unfortunately, we found out during the past week that PSVR games will not be able to be played on PSVR 2. Sony claims that PSVR 2 is a headset that will let the players be really immersed into the game and PSVR 1 games are simply not up to the standards PSVR 2 games will be played in. If you want to know everything that we know at this point for PSVR 2, click on the video on the top right. Before we get into the game releases of the week, I want to throw out a quick plug for The Rhythm of the Night, which is a game that's like a mix between Vader Immortal and Pistol Whip. The game developer has reached out to me and wanted to give away a game key for you guys, so here it is. The first person to scan this will be able to download the game for free. Even if you didn't get the free version, the game is a fun game, so if you like games like Vader Immortal and Pistol Whip, it might be worth your time to check it out. There were some really exciting game releases for this week. It's Rocket League, but in VR. This is the latest multiplayer gaming experience from Resolution Games, which is a studio behind the super popular game Demio. Ultimex lets you remotely pilot high performance mechs that compete in the future of sports as opposing teams zoom, block, punch, and score their way into victory. This is a free game, so there is no reason why you shouldn't try this out. Prepare to experience the intense thrill of playing quarterback in the National Football League like never before with NFL Pro Era. Lace up your virtual cleats as the new starting quarterback of your favorite NFL team and experience what it's like to walk out of the tunnel, take the field, and command the huddle as the leader. NFL Pro Era is the first officially licensed game by the NFL, so if you're a big fan of the sport, this will be a very cool experience for you. This is one of the highest rated games on App Lab and it finally got a full release through the official Quest App Store. You'll swing swords, throw knives, and shoot arrows as if you held the weapons yourself as you explore a vast dungeon of ever-changing paths. I always think that the rating speaks for the game itself, so you'll be playing a high quality game with this one. If you missed last week's episode, be sure to check out the video on the right and if you're looking for more VR content, the video on the left will be a video picked by YouTube which somehow knows what you should watch next. I'll catch you in my next video.